Hello everyone, thank you for joining me, I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet this frog. Crocheted in 8 ply wool, the size is 10 centimetres by 9 centimetres or 4 inches by 3 and a half inches. This small frog, crocheted in 4 ply crochet cotton, is 6 and a half centimetres by 6 centimetres or 2 and a half inches by 2 and a quarter inches. I'll be using 8 ply wool today which is light worsted in the US and double knit in the UK. I've got green as my main colour and white and black for the eyes. I've got a 2.5mm crochet hook, I've got scissors, a darning needle to weave in the ends and sewing thread and needle to stitch the frog together. I'm going to start with the body so using my green I make a magic loop. I put my hook on my yarn, I bring the short end over the top of the hook and then take my long end over the short end to make a circle and then I put my yarn around the hook and bring the loop on my hook through the circle and that's a magic loop. Then I start with two chain and then work 15 double crochet into my circle. A double crochet is called a treble in the UK. For a double crochet I put my yarn around the hook, put my hook in through the circle, through the front, yarn around the hook and bring a loop back through the circle, yarn around my hook and take my hook with the yarn through two loops, yarn around my hook, hook with the yarn through the other two loops. So yarn around the hook, hook in through the circle and pick up a loop, yarn around the hook through two loops, yarn around the hook and through two loops. I've got two double crochet, I need 13 more. Now I've got my 15 double crochet into my circle, now I'm going to pull my circle tight. So I take hold of the tail and just ease it in as tight as I can and then I slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. So this stitch here, I put my hook in through the stitch and then bring a loop back through the stitch and then through the loop on my hook. And that's the first row done. For row two, I start with two chain and work one double crochet in the same place as the chain. So in there. Now I'm going to work two double crochet into each stitch right around. So I work two double crochet into this stitch that just increases the circle and then another two double crochet into this next stitch and I'll repeat that all the way around so I'll continue around row two and I'll meet you near the end of the row at the end of the row we slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. So it's this stitch here just above the two chain.
For row three, we work one chain and work a single crochet in the same stitch as the chain. A single crochet is called a double crochet in the UK. For a single crochet, we put our hook into the stitch and bring through a loop. Yarn around the hook and take it through both loops. Then we work a single crochet into each of the next two stitches and two single crochet into the following stitch. And we'll repeat that right around the row. So one single crochet into each of the next two stitches and two single crochet into the following stitch. So I'll work around this row and I'll meet you at the end. At the end of the row we slip stitch in the top of the first stitch and fasten off. And that's the body done. I'll do the head now. I start with nine chain. I miss the first two chain and work three double crochet in the third chain from the hook. I work one double crochet into the next stitch and then one treble into each of the following three stitches. A treble is called a double treble in the UK. For a treble we put our yarn around the hook twice, a hook into the stitch and bring through a loop yarn around the hook, take it through two loops, yarn around the hook, take it through the next two loops and yarn around the hook and take it through the last two loops. So we need two more of those. Then we work a double crochet into the next stitch and then six double crochet into our last stitch. Now we're going to work into this loop at the back of the chain and we'll work one double crochet into each loop to the last loop.
and then into the back of the last chain we work three double crochet and then we join with a slip stitch into the top of the first stitch so that stitch there and that's the first row of the head done for row two we start with one chain and work a half double crochet in the same stitch as the chain a half double crochet is called a half treble in the UK for a half double crochet we put our yarn around the hook a hook into the stitch and bring through a loop yarn around the hook and take a hook and yarn through all the loops now we need two half double crochet into the next stitch so yarn around our hook our hook into the stitch and bring up a loop yarn around the hook and take a hook and yarn through all three loops and we need one more half double crochet into that stitch now we work one double crochet into each of the next two stitches and next we work one treble into each of the following three stitches And then one double crochet into each of the next two stitches. Next we work two half double crochet into each of the following five stitches. Then we work one single crochet into each of the next six stitches. And then we work two half double crochet into each remaining stitch and then slip stitch into the top of the first stitch and fasten off And that's the head done. For the outer eyes, the parts, green part behind the eyes, we start with a magic loop and work two chain and work 15 double crochet into our circle.
pull the circle tight and slip stitch into the top of the first stitch. And fasten off. And we'll need another one. So make a magic loop. Work two chain and 15 double crochet into the circle. Pull the circle tight and slip stitch into the top of the first stitch and fasten off. For the middle eye piece, this white piece here, I make a magic loop. and work one chain and ten half double crochet into my circle. I pull the circle tight and slip stitch in the top of the first stitch and fasten off. And I'll need another one so I make a magic loop. Work one chain and ten half double crochet into my circle. the circle tight and slip stitch in the top of the first stitch and fasten off. I'll need to pull that one a bit tighter that uh, my hands aren't working very well today. For the inner eye, the black part, I make a magic loop and work one chain and four single crochet into my circle. I 
I pulled the circle tight and slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. and fasten off and I'll need another one the same so make a magic loop and work one chain and four single crochet into the circle the circle tight and slip stitch into the top of the first stitch and fasten off. For the legs, using our green we work nine chain They're worked the same as the first row of the head. We work three double crochet into the third chain from the hook. One double crochet into the next stitch and then one treble into each of the following three stitches. For the treble we put our yarn around our hook twice at the beginning of the stitch. So one treble into each of the following three stitches. One double crochet into the next stitch and then six double crochet into our last stitch. Now we work one double crochet into each of the back, back of the chain until the last chain. And into the back of the last chain we work three double crochet. And then we slip stitch into the top of the first stitch and fasten off. 
the other leg has worked the same. We start with nine chain. We work three double crochet into the third chain from the hook. One double crochet into the next chain. And then one treble into each of the following three stitches. One double crochet into the next stitch and six double crochet into our last stitch. And then one double crochet into the back of each chain to the last chain. And three double crochet into the back of the last chain. Slip stitch into the top of the first stitch and fasten off. For the toes, for the first one, we start at the end stitch. Um, we've got two stitches that are really on the end, so the one on the left hand side will join our yarn. And work three chain and one double crochet in the same stitch as the chain. and then work three chain and slip stitch into the same stitch as our double crochet and that's the first toe done we've got to work two more toes so we slip stitch into the next stitch and work three chain a double crochet in the same place as a chain three chain and slip stitch into that same stitch as the double crochet and slip stitch into the next stitch and work another toe of three chain, one double crochet in the same stitch and three chain and slip stitch into the same stitch.
and fasten off. Now that's the first toes done. With the second lot of toes, we start, we've got a, our centre stitch, the right centre stitch, and then we go back to the second back one. So just in there, and we work the toes the same. So we start with three chain, a double crochet in the same place as a chain, three chain and slip stitch into the same stitch as our double crochet and slip stitch into the next stitch and then we work two more toes the same as we've been working. And we fasten off. So for one foot the toes are going down the opposite side to the other. Now that's all the crocheting done. I'll just weave in the ends and I'll be back and we'll put it together. Now here's all my pieces. The first things I'll do is embroider on the mouth the bottom is the flat end, so I embroider the mouth down that way and I'll attach the inner eyes to the middle eyes, just in the middle there. Now the mouth's on and the eyes are attached. The next thing I do is attach the head to the body. Just about halfway between the end of row 1 and the end of row 2. So just across there. Now the head's on. Next I attach the outer eyes at the back of the head to about halfway up the circle. You don't want them to stick right up. So about halfway and nearly meeting in the middle of the head just like that. Next we attach the eyes. You need to have a little bit of green showing around the edges but just in like that and the legs go just in either side sticking out quite a way like that. So. I'll attach them and I'll be back to show you the finished frog. And there's a finished frog. If you like my video, please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. The details are in the description below, along with the details of my website and the details of my Facebook group. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.